happening. Now, we start with one of British boxing's forgotten characters, a man with a true history and a Commonwealth light heavyweight belt strapped round his waist. He is never in a dull fight that he wins. You realise I said he's never in a dull fight that he wins. He can be in some dull fights where he loses because people can run away from him for 12 rounds and outpoint him. Nothing illegal in that, but hey, it upsets him and it tends to upset fans. It's Oville McKenzie. Now, on October the 27th in Cardiff, he fights Enzo Macrinelli. I was stunned when I heard about this fight. I only found out about this today. Enzo has dropped down from cruiserweight. Now, Enzo won the British cruiserweight title earlier this year, but then fouled a drug test. He'd taken a supplement which he'd bought in a magazine to help him um, increase his weight because he was moving from light heavyweight up to cruiserweight. Anyway, the supplement turned out to have a banned substance in it. The British Boxing Board of Control had had him up in front of their officers, and I think he was banned for, I think, six months or three months. Anyway... Genuinely took a su bad supplement. A couple of other fighters have done this. In fact, Tony Dodson, who um, Oville McKenzie knocked out a few months ago, he got done for the same thing, taking a supplement. His was the reverse, though, to actually come down in weight, I think. Or maybe it, it was the same thing. Anyway, Enzo against Oville McKenzie is an old-fashioned bang-up. It is indeed. It's a don't-blink-on-the-night type of fight. I spoke to Oville a bit earlier and I put it to him that facing Macronelli will be a big test. It is a big fight for me. It will be a big win for me as well. You know, put me on the map. You know, people not start to know who, who am I and what I'm all about because I'll show them that in the night what I'm all about, you know. Oval, you're on this great run of knocking people out and you're always smiling but it is time for you to have a bit of a lucky break, isn't it? And get a, tight, get a fight, a big fight. I mean that, nicely. Uh, hopefully this is this will be the one that give, give me that break, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody know Enzel more than me, so everybody coming for it, support him more than me. So I just show them, say, I'm the new thing and I'm the, I do the business. Because also you're still working, you're still working on, I, I still working on doors? Yeah, I still work the door the same way, you know. I even last night, I worked last night, finished <laughs> four o'clock. I had to get eight o'clock to be, come to London this morning. So I, I, I still work the doors, you know, I still have a hard life, it's still struggling, but, you so know. So you're a champion that still has to go to work. Uh, Let me ask you this, if you fight, when you fight Enzo, when will be the last night that you go to work? The last night before we go, I take, I take two weeks before, two weeks okay. off, two weeks, I always take two weeks off before. You know, before, if I never have a tiger fight, I would have just leave it till this is the last week, but now I'm a tiger, I take two, I leave it for two weeks, <laughs> better than nothing. <laughs> and after you win, how soon are you back at work? The following, the following Saturday, I'm back on work, and uh, <laughs> cause my face always be all right. I don't have any swelling, no bruising or everything, so I'm all right to fit and back to work. I, you know, I like the excitement to go to work, talking about the fight and having a laugh People as well. Talking, yeah. now, now, what sort of places is it that you work on the door? Do you work on different places? Are they okay or are they a bit wild, a bit rowdy? It's a bit of wild people, then, but they're all right with me. You know, they, they, they know they know that I'm a good lad. They know that I'm a boxer. Most of them want to be my friends, you know. So they don't really mess about too much, you know. They, they, they really give. They, they all right. They all right. They ain't too bad. The troublemakers do what they what they they be for me. <laughs> They do be here for me, brother. <laughs> I feel that's pretty <laughs> <my respect. laughs> That's Oville with me earlier. He is a relaxed man, but he's ferocious in the ring. His last two fights went one round and three rounds. And I'll tell you what I'd like to do if I had the money, if I can get a camera crew from somebody at Box Nation, was filmed 24 hours in the day and night and life of Oville McKenzie, from his run at six in the morning to when he comes home from working on the doors at about four in the morning. That'd be an entertaining film, wouldn't it? Anyway, Enzo also loves an early night. And as I said, don't blink when they fight.